hi guys welcome back to my channel I know it has been a long time about three weeks since the last time I was here on YouTube or any of my social media um, I've been away for the past three weeks just because I had some family members um, come to where I'm currently living and I just wanted to have a full time with my family and just enjoy them since I don't see them like every single day I don't see them like too much so yeah that's what I've been doing it's nothing wrong with me I didn't want it to leave you guys at all I've been thinking of you guys like every single day every single week that passed I was like oh my god I need to film a video but I was so so busy that I just didn't have time to do that but I am back um I'm gonna be posting a video per week so yeah so today I'm gonna bring you guys a beauty haul I have a few products here in front of me <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this beauty haul and I'm just gonna go and jump right in okay so I'm gonna start off with some skincare and some products that I bought for you know priming my face prior to makeup and all of that and the first product that I'm gonna mention mention right now is the Kane and Austin prime and protect mattifying primer I bought this thanks to um, my girl Casey Holmes she raised about this product like in almost all of her makeup videos she talks about it or she uses it like a lot so I as you guys know I have an oily t-zone it's nothing too severe but you know I get my oil oils throughout the day and sometimes my makeup doesn't last the way that I like it to last so I got this bad boy recently and I have used it for the past maybe two weeks two to three weeks since I've been gone up from YouTube and this is how it looks it's very nice packaging and it has a tint to it as you can see it has a tint but let me tell you, it mattifies your face so good. Like I can, I used to use the Becca Ever Matte for less priming filter, I guess it's called. And I used to love it, and I still love it. I still use it. But since I got this one, I've been using it every single day, and I really do love it mattifies my face and my makeup last all day no joke hands down is the best mattifying primer that I have tried for the moment next I'm gonna be showing you the Dr. Brandt pores no more primer this um, I have heard good things about it and I actually did try it um, for the past two weeks I've been using it non-stop um, to minimize the look of pores, absorbs oil and mattifies chime and it mattifies but as far as blurring your pores it's very good it's actually it's very good I'm not gonna lie about that is very good it actually does hide your pores but if I had to choose between this one and the makeup forever step equalize step equalizer the smoothing one which is the number two which is for the pores as well to minimize the appearance of pores I I think I'd rather the makeup forever and the pore professional by benefit this is good. I mean, maybe for other people it works better. It it hides my pores. It really does. But I think I just like more the Makeup Forever or the Pore Professional by Benefit. It's good though. It's really good. Next, after that, I finally got the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. This is the brand from Nicole Guerrero. I've been having it for I think a month already 
This, it came, it fade out pretty quickly, but I don't mind. The, the product is inside and that's the best part of it. It smells so, so good. It has a pink tint to it. it smells like roses. You know, Nicole Guerrero, she loves roses. Everything that smells like roses, she loves. So that's the smell she put this, she put on this mask. And let me tell you, I've always been like looking for the best lip balm, lip mask because my lips tend to be pretty dry and since I got this mask, since I got this, I've been using it non-stop every single day, every single morning when I go to work and every single time that I go to bed, every single day, twice a day. In the morning and at the night time, I put this on my lips and let me tell you, my, that's what I'm currently wearing right now and my lips has never been so smooth like I used to feel I used to do this a lot just because my lips are so so dry especially in this area right here but since I've been using this my lips are so smooth so soft I don't feel the dead skin anymore on my lips and I love it I really do love this product Next, after that, I am going to show you the product that I use on my eyelashes, which is the Grande, Grande Lash MD Eyelash Enhancing Serum, which looks like this. You apply it every day and every night like a regular liner on your lash line, and this will make your eyelash eyelashes grow so long so thick so dark I um, used to have a lot of fallout from my eyelashes and since I started to use this product my eyelashes got very long right now they're not as long as they um, used to be just because the only thing I hate about this product is the fact is the fact that if you stop using it your lashes are gonna go back to its regular size so I it was about a month since uh, since it ran out and I didn't buy it again and my eyelashes went back to the normal size so now I got it recently again and they're starting to grow again but this is amazing I see that Sephora actually got it recently Sephora is selling it and if you want your eyelashes to grow and be extremely long healthy dark and you know very dramatic you need to get this product and trust me you're gonna love it so next after that I have a few foundations here and I'm gonna start off with the NARS sheer glow foundation I've never tried this foundation I got it recently and I got it because one of my co-workers Yannick is her name she this is her favorite foundation I used to use the NARS all day luminous foundation and I love that foundation but I never had tried this one because I thought that it was gonna be too oily for me for some reason but it's actually not it's I mean on my face it's pretty matte you know how, you know how, you have it has oh my god I can't speak it has a very nice glow to it but it's not gonna be too overly glow or dewy like it's just gonna give you the right amount of glow but it's gonna stay on all day and if you're wondering my shade is medium for Barcelona I'm the same shade in the two foundations sheer glow and the all-day luminous foundation okay so after that I don't know where I put the box but I got again the Mac studio fix fluid SPF 15 foundation and I'm in the shade C5 I used to use this foundation a lot like maybe it's been two years since i don't use it but i recently got it because it is so good i took my mom to get her some foundation and she fell in love with this one and i just was like why did i stop using this foundation but this foundation is amazing like it's full coverage it has spf 15 it's not too much but it has some protection so you can use it through you know the day and don't use it at night because if you're gonna take pictures it's gonna give you a flashback and we don't like that right so for the day it's a very good foundation I really do love that one I got the hourglass 
Vanish Stick Foundation, Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And my shade is Sand. This is a very nice foundation. The packaging is amazing. I'm not too much into Stick Foundation, but this foundation is very, very nice. This full coverage, I love it because of the fact that it's waterproof and, you know, we all want our makeup to last the whole day. So if I go if I go to the beach or something, I go to pool, whatever, I put this foundation just because it's waterproof. And even though if I don't put my face down into the water, if water comes and splash into my face, the foundation is gonna stay. So I've tried it a few times since I got it and I really do like I'm not gonna say I love it, but I don't hate it either. I like it, I give it about an eight out of 10 just because, I don't know, I feel like it's too heavy on my face, like it looks, it looks too heavy and I don't like to feel, I don't like to look that my face looks so heavy with makeup. I like it, I really do like it, but I just don't love it that much. Next, I got the Giorgio Armani, Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and my shade is 6.5. This is how it looks. It has a very nice packaging. I've been eyeing this foundation for the longest time, but I, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just was eyeing it, but never was like, oh, let me just go ahead and get it. But I got it recently and I love this foundation. I really do love it. It feels so lightweight. It's not overly luminous. It's, it gives you the right amount of glow. It's very nice. I'm gonna try to do maybe first impressions to you guys of the foundation so you guys can see them. And yeah, on to the next. I got a lot of foundations. I don't know, I think the step that I most love about makeup is foundation like hands down I think that's my favorite favorite step next foundation I got is the NYX total control drop foundation now let me tell you this foundation I am so in love with you have to check it very very well before you use my shade is number S beige and this foundation, when it said that it was full coverage, it's full coverage. Like, it is just amazing. For only 14 bucks, it feels so lightweight. Even though it says it's total cover foundation, full coverage, whatever you want to call it, it is amazing. Like. The coverage is amazing and the it feels so lightweight and it lightweight and it lasts all day long. Like it is amazing. I really do I need to do a review on this foundation because it is just so so good. If as you can see now I got a very nice tan this past week since I got family over in my house. Um and probably of the all foundations, the only foundation that matches me right now is this one right here, the MAC, because the other ones are more, you know, my regular skin tone, so, but I need to do some reviews on this foundation. Other thing that I got was some beauty blenders. I got the white, the pink, the nude, the black, just dirty. And with that, I got the mini beauty blender for under the eyes. I just love the blender so much. Two found the four foundations, four concealer for everything. I just love those so so much. Next, I got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Medium Dark, just because I ran out of it a long time ago and I didn't purchase it again. And I just got it recently. I I just love it. That's what I do use today to do my eyebrows. I love that so so much. For the face, I got the Hourglass Ambient Palette, which it looks like this. Now, 
this palette I think it came out for Christmas last year and I've been eyeing it so much so so much but I just didn't buy it but I got it recently these are the colors this is a face powder bronzer highlighter and two blushes right here and they are amazing the pigmentation on them are just so good they are like they have a sheen to it but they're like so amazing I cannot lie to you they are amazing that's the highlight I think that's just how it looks they're very nice neutral nude glow and I am obsessed with it next I got a set the set trio the oh my god set and glow trio from Laura Mercier so here you got is they're mini size they're not the full size um, but you got the secret brightening powder for under your eyes you got the translucent powder for your face for under the eyes whatever you want to use it for and you have the candlelight I think that's what it's called candlelight glow and it's it's very nice this kit is very nice let me show you the smallest one is the secret brightening powder this is how it looks it's very tiny but you know you get a good amount of, you get let me see how much you get you get one gram of product but it lasts a lot because you know you don't use that much for under the eyes so this powder for the under eyes hands down best powder ever so you get that then you get a bigger size 9.3 grams the translucent powder and after that you get the glow powder which is called yeah candlelight you can see it right there let's get a little bit from the cap looks like that you see it's like a very nice has a very nice glow so I went the other day to the beach and I applied this all over my body and it looks so so good. I really do like that glow powder right there. Okay, so next I got the NYX Face and Body Glitter and I am definitely going to do a tutorial on this with this glitter and I also got the next glitter primer which I, I have heard a good things about it you, can, you see here you put it and then you put the glitter on you you can use it on your lips you can use it on your eyes you can use it everywhere so this I'm gonna use on a tutorial that I'm gonna do after this video okay next I got this lovely packaging from Nude Sticks. Let me just put this down because I just can't move. Okay. Now, I got this from Nude Sticks. I got four different lippy lipid sticks. I guess that's what they call them. It has a very nice packaging. And on the inside, you get a mirror. And then you get your lip and it comes with a sharpener as well just like so this is very nice and then this is the lipstick this dries like in 30 seconds or less it dries completely matte you can you can apply it and then in 15 seconds just kiss your hand it's not gonna transfer it is very nice this is a shade rose that's rose right there it is very gorgeous let me just do swatches of all of this so you guys can see next this call this shade is called purity this is like your lips but better 
So you got rose. They're pretty similar actually, but you can tell the difference. Rose and purity right here. Next, I got Raven. That's the color right here. That's Raven. Don't mind my swatches, they're terrible, I know. And last but not least, I got Royal, which is your go to red. I'm just gonna apply this right here. That's red. And these are amazing. So they're called Lipsticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. You can use them for blush as well. They're very nice. Next, after that, I got more glitter liners here. So these are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. I got two. I got Glam Rock, which is the silver. Right here. So, so nice. Let me swatch. That's the silver right there. And I also got Cowboy. Right? Midnight Cowboy, which is the gold. And that's just how it looks. Right here. This is silver and this is the gold. Very nice the glitters. I did try it, just I went out and I use it and I love it. I need to do a tutorial on this. Okay, so after that, I got two brush sets and I'm gonna start off with the Sigma Sigma Kabuki kit. And this comes with five um, face brushes. I've been eyeing this for the longest time. For the longest time, trust me. So here you get the F Sigma F80, most popular brush ever. Sigma F80, I have to use it. I just washed it a few hours ago. Sigma F80, you also get the Sigma F86. Let me tell you, I always have used the Beauty Blenders for, for my under eye, for the concealer. That's what I always use. I never use nothing else, not even my fingers, to blend out my concealer. I just love the big brother. But I got this recently, and I tried this brush for, with the concealer, and I love how this brush blend out my concealer. Like, it blended out so, so nice. Like, it just fits right perfectly under it smells so good, I just wash it. Um, perfectly under the eyes. It blended out so nicely that I'm just obsessed with this brush. I think I'm, yeah, I can just go between the two. Beauty blenders and this brush. This brush is amazing. So that's the F86. Now, F82 is, this is the F80 flat. F82 is practically the same thing, but this is round and this is completely flat. But I haven't tried this one, but I know it's gonna be amazing. You also get the Flat Angle F88, which is flat and angle. I used it for the foundation the other day. It was pretty nice. I used it for contour as well. And last but not least, I got the Angle Kabuki F84. You can, you can use all of them either for liquid or powder. And I want to try this for my powder, powder contour, bronzing, whatever. I want to try it because I just want to know. Since it's pretty dense. I want to see if it really works with powder. Okay, so now onto the next brush set that I got. I got the Morphe, I think it's the Gilded, I think it's the Gilded um, set. I got these recently and I am so in love with one with all of these brushes like they are I, mean, I haven't tried the eye um, brushes as yet but the face like the flat this one for the foundation the fan brush for the highlight this one for powder I have tried a few of them and they are just so 
so amazing. Like, I'm so happy that I got those. I have more here. They are 23. You get the famous Y4, like the E4 from the Elite Collection. I love it. But I am, from this collection, I am loving so, so much the Morphe Y8 for brown in my face. It is amazing. And the Y2, which is this one right here for the blush. I am loving this too, so, so much. So, yeah. And the other thing that I got here is this right here. This is amazing. This is the House of Lashes Light and Lux Collection. And when you open it, you open it just like this. You get six pair of lashes. This is so beautiful. I have used this one, which is the Iconic Light, and the Bodior Light. These two are the ones that I have used like a lot lately. This and this three, I haven't used as yet, but this lashes are amazing. I think it was 65 for this kit. And then also from House of Lashes, I got the eyelash glue, which is green, it's a dark green glue. But when you apply it on the lash band, it goes black. And this glue um, dries in about five seconds. You apply it, and about you give it about five to ten seconds, you apply it and it's not gonna move, it's gonna stay right there. It lasts. I think that you can even cry with this eyelash glue and they're not gonna come out. That's how good this foundation is. And last thing for this haul, to complete this haul, which is 25 minutes long, I bought these this Lumi for iPhone 6 Plus, 6S. Plus and 7 plus case because you know when you go out at night and you're with some friends or whatever your husband whatever it is and you want to take a picture but the light is not good because it's night and you want to take a selfie and you don't see anything so I bought this so that I can just press here and I get a light right so I got it and it didn't pass a week since I got this and my phone broke so now I have this phone and the camera is all crooked so I cannot take pictures anymore so I got this for nothing because now my phone is broke I need to get a new one so yeah that's a long story short but this is the beauty haul that I got for you guys I don't think I missed out on any products but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this beauty haul I got all this stuff on my hand. The beauty haul that I brought to you guys. And yeah, I'll definitely be doing some reviews on some of the products that I got. Also, I'm going to use the brushes. I'm going to definitely use the glitter fun tutorial that I'm going to do now after I finish this video. And yeah, I'll be showing you some of the products that I got on my next video. I hope you guys enjoy this beauty haul and I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.